since the division method allows us to do our arithmetic in the source base, it's going to be it's going to be better for cases where we're converting from decimal into another base. So if I take a number like 24 in base 10, and I want to convert this to binary, I'm going to be doing a lot of division by 2. Which means I need space to do my division. So if I start with a number like 25, I'm going to do a whole lot of division by 2, and I'm going to be looking at the remainders that I generate in the process. So I'll take 25, and all I'm going to divide by 2. This will leave me with 12 remainder 1. Then I will take the 12, divide by 2, gives me 6 remainder 0. 6 divided by 2 is 3, remainder 0. 3 divided by 2 is 2, gives me 1, remainder 1. And then 1 divided by 2 gives me 0, remainder 1. So now I can take and read my number from top to bottom and see that I get 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 in base 2. And if I look over the line for 25, that is what I get. If I want to do the conversion to octal, though, then I'm going to do division by 8 instead. So I'd start with 25 in base 10. 25 divided by 8 will give me 3 remainder 1. And then 3 divided by 8 will give me 0 remainder 3. So I get 31 in octal. Hexadecimal will be the same way. Take 25, divide by 16. 16 goes into 25 once with a remainder of 9. And then I divide 1 by 16, which will give me 0, remainder 1, and my hexadecimal number is 19. So if I try something larger, like, like 29, I'm going to get some different results out. So if I start with 29 and I try converting into binary, I'll do division by 2, and I will get 14 remainder 1, 7 remainder 0, 3 remainder 1, 1 remainder 1, and 0 remainder 1. So. 29 in base 10 is equal to 11101 in binary. In octal, I'll do the same thing. 8 goes into 29 3 times. So 3 times 8 is 24, leaving me with a remainder leaving me with a remainder of 5. And then 8 goes into 3 0 times, the remainder of 3. So that gives me 35 in octal. Finally, if I do this again for hexadecimal, so 
So 16 goes into 29 once, and I have a remainder of 13. Now 16 goes into 1, 0 times, the remainder of 1. So I want to write down 1, 13, but I really want 13 to be in hexadecimal, not decimal. So if I look this up in my chart, I'd see, oh, A is, A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13. So, oh, 13 is what I need, so I put in a D. And if I look over under 1D, yes, I get 29 as my original decimal number. So those match up on my number line as well. Enough of this.